How y'all doing? It's your boy Eat Right Guy. And for this video, I'm going to talk about a dietitian related question. And so on one of my previous videos, I had a subscriber ask me about my experiences as a renal dietitian working in a prison. And so I have a regular clinic on the outside and I also see around 70 to 80 prisoners. And so it's really not that much of a difference. The only difference is the setting to where they're doing dialysis. But before I kind of go into um, what's different about seeing prisoners, I'll just talk about kidney disease and dialysis for the people that don't know. And so pretty much dialysis acts as an artificial kidney for people who don't have their kidneys working uh, fully or if their kidneys aren't working at all. And I see people on hemodialysis is where their blood gets filtered um, through a permanent access um, called a fistula or a graft or a vascular catheter. I'm not going to go into details on those different types of accesses. You can look that up. But the kidneys are very important and they're vital to your survival. So we have two of them and they're bean shaped organs. And some of the pretty much functions of the kidneys are things like cleaning your blood out, cleaning the toxins out of your blood, regulating your blood pressure, regulating your fluid levels, regulating your electrolytes and minerals. Also, the kidneys produces hormones such as um, erythropoietin, which stimulates red blood cell production. The kidneys also activate vitamin D. So. Those are just some of the uh, functions that I can think of off the top of my head. There are many more and you need your kidneys working efficiently in order for you to live. And so there are a point, there are some people that the kidneys don't work anymore. And so then they have to get on dialysis, which I said earlier is pretty much an artificial kidney. And so it's a machine to where their blood is getting drawn out their body. It goes through the machine to get clean and then they bring it back into their body. And usually people that are on dialysis, they do it three times a week for four hours of treatment. And so where I come in as a dietitian is I deal with the nutrition aspect of kidney disease. And that's very important because the two main causes of kidney disease is one, uncontrolled type 2 diabetes, and number two, uncontrolled high blood pressure. And both of those diseases are attributed to poor diet for the most part. And so I actually see the people when they're at the end stage, but there are dietitians that see people that are have chronic kidney disease that are not at the point of dialysis. And so some of my main uh, responsibilities is to deal with albumin, which is blood protein levels, because people that are on dialysis actually have higher protein needs because they do lose some protein throughout the dialysis process. And also because of the, the, um, the urea or the waste buildup, they're hyper metabolic. So they're also their calorie needs have increased. So I'm responsible to make sure that they're getting enough protein. We check labs every month. There are some labs that we check every week. And those, that's pretty much what I go off of and what I set my recommendations for, their actual blood work, because I treat all my patients individually. And also I'm responsible for phosphorus levels, potassium levels, calcium, parathyroid hormone levels, and fluid levels. And so all those things are attributed to nutrition. And because your kidneys regulate your, your mineral and your electrolyte levels, they can build up in your body when your kidneys aren't working. So let's say I, we check labs and a patient has a high phosphorus level. Well, it's my responsibility to figure out what is this patient eating that's high in phosphorus. And then I'll teach them different ways in which they can, or different foods they can substitute for that. Um, there's also medications called phosphorus binders that may need to be taken. Um, I actually, uh, and some, some dietitians have the responsibility of ordering those medications with the doctor's approval. Also, we uh, actually pretty much monitor vitamin D levels. And we look at like parathyroid hormone levels, calcium levels, and we um, pretty much adjust the dosages of vitamin D, uh, which is calcitriol, which is the active form of vitamin D that's activated in healthy kidneys. Um, and like I said, uh, fluid is very big. 
because your kidneys, when they're working right, your kidneys produce urine. But when people are on dialysis, a lot of them uh, either don't produce any urine or they produce very little urine. So all of that fluid that they're drinking, it stays on their body until they can go for the dialysis treatment. And so you, I've seen people that have seven to eight liters of fluid on them at once. And if you take that much fluid off of somebody in four hours, that puts a lot of strain on their body. Um, it's bad for their heart. It can cause huge fluctuations in their blood pressure. So it's very important that we teach them about fluid restrictions as well as like sodium restrictions because sodium makes your body hold on to fluid. It also makes you thirsty and it also raises your blood pressure. So those are some of the things that we do. Um, like I said, I focus on the nutrition aspect of it, but um, it depends on your clinic. You may have more responsibility. And uh, that's all I can really think of. Okay, well, working at the prison. Um, the only difference between working at the prison setting and an actual regular clinic is that the prison is actually a little easier because they don't really have too much say-so in their food. So um, one of the things I do is I go into the cafeteria and talk to the, the food service manager, which is a correctional officer. And I kind of give them, I kind of educate them on what type of things to uh, give the dialysis patients because they actually receive a separate uh, meal tray. And so I help them with developing menus. I give them handouts. I actually give the patients handouts because um, a lot of them don't really eat out the cafeteria. They actually buy food from commissary, so I make handouts on like, okay, choose these different type of snack food items instead of these that are like high in sodium and phosphorus and things like that, because they actually be making their own little hookups with those type of foods. And like I said, we go over labs every month. Um, I go over the labs with the patients, and if there's something out of whack with the albumin levels, which is their blood protein, their phosphorus, calcium, PTH, potassium, I kind of get the root cause of what's causing those levels to be out of whack and then I actually try to um, help them solve those problems nutritionally. And so those are just some of the main things that I do as a renal dietitian. Hopefully this answered your question um, and y'all have a nice day.